my invisible friends hello and welcome back to our series on electrical engineering tonight we have one more video on the power in ac steady state tutorial recitation series the exercise tonight is this one but please watch the previous video of this series before going forward the difference between this one and the previous one is just that the third load on the right is represented by the reactive power 20 kilovars and the power factor instead of just by the active power and the power factor as the other two the first load is a capacitive load and the other two are inductive loads given that the first one is leading and the other two are lagging the first two on the left are given by p their active power 12 kilowatts 16 kilowatts the one on the right is given by the reactive power q 20 kilovars also before going forward because in this question they ask us find what is the rms value of the current and the source i naught they also ask us to compensate the power factor of uh, this system of three loads for that i invite you to watch this video that i made for you how to compensate a power factor in a power system and now we begin. We will label those three loads by their complex powers. One is two, one is three. We already know how to represent a complex power, where we know the active power P and we know the power factor. Now, let's work with the last one on the right. We know Q and the power factor. How do we write the complex power S3? In the power triangle, we see that Q, the reactive power, is the vertical side on the far right and theta is the power factor angle. The real part of this uh, complex number that is a complex power, what we call the active power, also the average power, is Q divided by the tangent of the power factor angle. But the power factor angle theta is the arcosine of the power factor. So we can write then the complex power as Q that multiplies this complex number. And that is what we will do to represent S3, the third load, as a complex power in the calculator. S1, S2, and S3. The first two powers are representing according to what we saw in our previous exercise, the previous video. And the third one is the one that's using the formula that we just saw. S3 is 20,000. Of ours, 20 kilowatts that multiplies and you see that what it is 1 over the tangent of the arcosine of the power factor which is 0 0.6 it's a lagging load so it's plus j the imaginary part is positive now we add together the three loads s1 s2 and s3 and we get the total complex power delivered by this source that is 43 kilowatts and 23 kilovars. And the source is a 220 volts RMS, 0 degrees. The current will be given by a formula we have seen before, the complex conjugate of the ratio of the power, the complex power in the source divided by the voltage in the source. That is the current I naught. Its absolute value is the RMS value of the current, 221 0.63 amperes and that is the solution to the first part of this question the other part of the question says i don't want that the power on the left has to deal with any reactive power at all i want that the source on the left delivers only the active power 43 kilowatts and then the other the reactive power, the 23 kilowatts, will be provided by whom? By a capacitor that we will connect in parallel with those three loads. We need to find the value of that capacitor in farads so that it will provide at 220 volts the right amount of Q, the right amount of reactive power, 23 kilowatts. Let's see. The power factor compensation will remember that a capacitor produces Q because it's absorbing negative Q. Given by this formula, if we know the RMS value of the current in the capacitor, or if we know the RMS value of the voltage in the capacitor, which is our case today, we know that the RMS value of the voltage in the capacitor is 220 volts.
if we know the re uh, reactance of the capacitor and the frequency at which the system operates omega we can find what is the capacitance c and that is what we will do there is our system we will connect in parallel with it a capacitor that will take care of that reactive power that capacitor has to absorb negative 23 kilowatts that is it is producing 23 kilowatts so that the source on the left has to preoccupy itself only with delivering 43 kilowatts the active power that is the question that we have today not always do we compensate completely all the reactive power that is rather unusual normally we compensate only a fraction of the total reactive power with the capacitor so that the source on the left provides all the active power and a little bit of the reactive power but today it is about compensating completely all the reactive power how much will be the value of that capacitor well the q in the capacitor is the imaginary part of the complex power and the source that is 23 kilowatts we knew that the equation we need to solve is that the q of the capacitor is 220 square the rms value of the voltage in the capacitor 220 square divided by the reactance of the capacitor that is 1 over 2 pi 60 we're in canada multiplied by the capacitance we solve that equation for the capacitance and we get that the capacitor needed is the 1.26 millifarads capacitor and that is that thank you very much for watching and i hope to meet with you again in our next video